Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell joining you today from Data Cloud Global Congress here in beautiful Monaco. Joining me is Ed Galvin, CEO of DC Byte. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so great to have you. It's been, we were talking, you know, it's such a busy, busy week. We're at the tail end of it. Um, how's it been for you so far? It's like nonstop speed dating, yeah. you know, it's uh, with, uh, with a, a sleep being optional. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. it's been it's been great. Um, you know, over the last couple of years with the pandemic, you know, things being a little bit more limited now, you know, full throttle being able to catch up long overdue conversations. It's yeah. been great. Yeah. And so for our viewers who may not know, can you just give us a bit of an overview on DC Byte? Sure. Yeah. So, so DC Byte, the, the premise is very simple. Um, we provide global, trusted, transparent information in a consistent format uh, on the data center sector. Um, we help our customers provide, you know, make good decisions with, with from a better informed position, essentially. Right. And so, I mean, I know that that's a, a key proposition for you. That you mentioned the the, the quality, detailed, accurate information, um, but from a global perspective. So, so tell us about that, just in, in terms of how you deliver that that detailed information and for the global market? Sure. Well, yeah, there's no substitute for boots on the ground, right? right. Um, you need um, not just boots on the ground, you need the, the, the language skills, the cultural skills. And um, we've been very lucky at DC Byte. Um, you know, we've got an incredibly talented, smart, diverse uh, team who is able to look at every market um, with a, a local perspective, but also having the, the backup of a, of a sort of consistent global team methodology. Um, and uh, we have uh, we obviously started out in uh, in London, then went into Europe, um, expanded into EMEA. Specifically, a huge amount of activity going on in Middle East and Africa at the moment. Right. A lot of lot of interest there. Uh, 2021, we uh, expanded into uh, Asia. So uh, our, our hub office in Singapore is, you know, going growing like uh, growing fantastically well. And uh, now we've uh, launched our first data set in North America, and uh, we're, we're you know, looking to build that team, you know, fairly rapidly over uh, over the coming weeks and months. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, you, you covered there a lot of the things I was going to ask you about sort of where you're located. And um, w would you say that there's sort of the a, a strength market for you, a lead market, or, or do, you, do you cover all of them equally? Well, I mean, that's one of our USPs really is the, is the consistency of, of covering, you know, the tier two, the tier three markets in as much detail as the tier one markets. Right. Um, you know, and one of the challenges that a lot of operators, investors, developers have is, you know, trying to penetrate and understand those markets where there just until now hasn't been any real, you know, research and insights. Right. Um, you know, anyone can get information on the, the tier one markets. You know, no one's going to be you know, called a maverick for investing in Ashburn or London, you mm -hmm. know, but when people are looking at, you know, um, whether it's, you know, Hanoi or, you know, or, uh, you know, um, or, or somewhere like uh, uh, Nairobi, you know, markets with, you know, huge amounts of potential. Yeah. Um, but up until now, uh, not enough information for people to be able to make, uh, you know, the, the decisions or decide on their strategy from a more informed perspective. Yeah. And I know you you alluded to earlier uh, your team, obviously so important when you're expanding into these markets. But how do you approach that when when you're you're really looking at who's going to come on board and and what you you know what your team represents to the market? Yeah, sure. So so one of the the challenges that we've had is we're in an industri industry which is both very young but also has a real shortage of people with the right experience. So what we, you know, have ultimately looked for is aptitude. Um, aptitude, and as I mentioned before, you know, the, the cultural uh, skills, the language skills, you know, we're never going to be able to speak every language uh, within our team. But, you know, if we have a enough understanding, you know, um, within the required markets that we're looking at, you know, that's where we want to be. All right. So what should we watch for over the next year or so from DC Byte? Uh, well, I hinted at uh, the, the, the North America expansion. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's really going to be a, a major focus for us. Um, the other part that we are, are looking to expand on is uh, is, is broadening um, the coverage. You know, at the moment, there is quite rightly so a big focus on the data center piece. Yeah. But we're starting to look more more broadly now at, at, at other areas of digital infrastructure and adjacent areas, um, particularly energy, which is the one question which mm. I think, you know, anyone in the industry is always asking, where's the power? 
Right. Yeah. It's been, I mean, such a big topic this week. We've been hearing it all week long from various people in various ways. So yeah, yeah a- agreed there. And and so any final notes just as we, your parting words for Data Cloud Global <laughs> <laughs> Congress this week? No, I mean, you know, it's been so great, you know, meeting with everyone. Um, you know, we really enjoyed the, uh, you know, the, the, the conversations that have started. Um, and, uh, you know, we're an open door right now. Um, so if you think that, uh, you know, we can help you, uh, then, you know, we're here to help. And equally, um, the beauty and, 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 and the thing that I really love about, uh, about DC Byte is we're constantly evolving the product. So if there is something that we're not doing at the moment that you feel might be able to help, you know, we, you know we're here to listen and, yeah. uh, and, and, you know, see if we can get a solution for you. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. I, we really appreciate you making the time. I know it's not easy in the midst of everything that's been happening this week. And as I said, as, as we're wrapping uh, the week up. So, so thanks. Thanks for your time. No, absolute we'll, pleasure. Thank yeah, you. We'll, we look forward to the next uh, conversation. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV, coming to you live today from day three of Data Cloud Global Congress here in Monaco. Until next time.